I'm Sabrina Odom Edwards. I am the executive director for the North Columbia Business Association who hosts the South Carolina Cornbread Festival and welcome to Designation Hometown. So we all know everyone love um, cornbread and cornbread make you think of Easter, Thanksgiving, where all the family come around the table and they cook cornbread and because is a southern thing in every restaurant you can you go in and have cornbread so six years ago we decided to bring the cornbread festival to north columbia we wanted to bring people together and the best way to bring people together is music and food so we thought it would be a great idea to introduce people to our area and also come together as a big family. So we're very excited about um, the Cornbread Festival. We've been doing it now. This is the sixth year, and it's going to be at Earlwood Park on April 21st from 11 to 7 p.m. We added two more things, two new more things this year, mm -hmm. and one of them is we're going to have the Cornbread Brunch that Warmouth restaurant is going to be doing and the milling company, the flour milling company will be um, co-chairing with bringing this cornbread brunch. It starts at 11 and it ends at 2 a.m. Another exciting part is we decided we wanted to educate people about cornbread. So we have the Cornbread Traveling Museum that will be there and she will give lectures 1, 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m. about the history of cornbread, but she also will have a big presentation there where you can see the actual skillets and the first original, what, how they started cooking cornbread, how cornbread won the war and everything. So the Cornbread Traveling Museum is a really good thing to come and see. And besides all that, we have our Playland, which is free to all kids. And then we have almost every vendor who will be cooking a different kind of cornbread that you can taste. So it will be cornbread around the park. We'll have a um, car show. We'll have um, music and band. You just come out and bring your chair and your blanket and you enjoy the whole day um, at the festival with food, music, and um, great entertainment. Well, Columbia is a great place to, to be in right now. Um, so they just don't have to come and just go to the Cornbread Festival, but we also got the Spirit Communication Park, so we have a baseball team, the Fireflies will be playing on that day. So it's other activities they can do in the city, and they, they can spend the whole day in the city. Um, participating in other activities. We just asked for them to start with the South Carolina Cornbread Festival, bring their family, um, bring their children and their grandchildren. Um, because the Playland is free, face painting is free, um, they will have extra money to spend on our vendors. We are going to be introducing new beers at the Cornbread Festival. And there also is a beer that was designed just for the Cornbread Festival. So it will be beer tasting out there. So come and enjoy that. And then um, later on, maybe go to a Firefly game or go downtown on Main Street. We have great stuff going on down there, the Soda City Market. So it's plenty to do in Columbia. And the Cornbread Festival is at Earlwood Park. It's right a mile away from Main Street and only a mile away from the uh, Spirit Communication Park. So it's great things to do in Columbia. So come and join us for a whole day of fun, starting with the South Carolina Cornbread Festival. The tickets are $5. It, it only costs $5 for adults to come in, and children six and under is free, and then the six and up is $2. So, um, 
For more information, you can go to our Facebook page, SC Cornbread Festival, and it will have this band schedule on there. We'll have um, Matt Arnold and the Play the Blues who's coming. We'll have Danielle Howe coming. And so we have a new band called Gas Money. So um, just go to SC Cornbread Festival Facebook page, and it'll give you all the information you need. My name is Sabrina Odom Edwards, and thank you for watching Designation Hometown.